It is so important for us to, just, first of all, discern who is and is not sent from God. Well, someone might say, who are you to determine who is and isn't sent from God? Isn't that judgment? Well, first of all, we'll get into judgment later. Jesus, in it, he was talking in, in Matthew 7 uh, about a certain type of judgment. But he said in John 7, judge righteous judgment. So we are to judge, definitely. We are to judge. Another word for that is to discern. We need to have discernment. We're all responsible for who we listen to, what we believe, what we hear, and what we support. We need to discern between that which is good and that which is evil. Hebrews 5.14, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Why? Well, 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, Prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Prove all things. Examine them. Look at them. Compare them with Scripture. Be a Berean. And then hold fast to that which is good. Hold fast to that which is sent from God. Secondly, so we can reprove the unfruitful works of darkness, Ephesians 5.11. Third, we need to warn God's people about the wolves in sheep's clothing. Acts 20, verses 29-31 has this warning of Paul. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Not after Christ, after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn you every, to warn everyone night and day with tears. The wolves are coming. Here's the warning. Second Peter 2 verse 1 says this. There were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Unsaved men in the pulpit. Jude 4 says this, For there are certain men crept in unawares. You can't see what they are. They're tares. You know what tares are? Okay, tares among the wheat. Matthew 13. Tares are a plant that look like wheat. Wheat's food. The tares are poison. They look like wheat until it's harvest time. And then, once they mature, you can see which they are. So that they can take the poison and burn it. So that it doesn't get mixed in with the food. These are unsaved men that are in the pulpit. To have crept in unawares. You can't tell who they are right away who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. They sneak in false doctrine, catching it in rested scripture, 2 Peter 3.16, to make it sound true. They sneak in and they change the message. 